Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment of our program brought to you by Tenova Healthcare. Tenova.com is where you can go to learn more. Orthopedic services, used by Peyton Manning himself, bariatric surgery, heart care, digital mammography, labor and delivery, sleep centers, robotic surgery, whatever health need you might have. Trust the team that I trust. Tenova Healthcare. Couldn't be prouder to talk about Tenova than I am. Tenova.com to learn more. All right. Um, want to just explain this this segment writers for ESPN and Fox Sports say Butch Jones is on the hot seat a writer for Sports Illustrated says he'll survive if UT competes in the East and a writer for CBS Sports says Jones is on the hottest seat in America seems a bit extreme <laughs> to me but okay that's why we're talking about this there are fans out there who think he's on the hot seat there are national writers talking about it and if you think this isn't gonna be a topic all summer and into the fall you're crazy. So that's why I wanted to bring up some scenarios and see what these guys thought. So let me go ahead and put this graphic up. What we're going to do, uh, right or wrong, job security is a story. So what we're going to do, four scenarios for UT season. I want you to consider Curry, the boosters, and fans. This isn't what you would do. This is what you think they would do. Would Jones be safe or in trouble in each scenario? Let's look at scenario one here. All right, now that may be hard for you to read at home, so I'm going to tell you what happened in that scenario. They go eight and five overall, all right? Five and three in the SEC, so you got a winning record. Lose the opener to Georgia Tech, lose to Georgia, lose at Alabama, lose to LSU, lose in a bowl game to Penn State. But you tie for first place in the East. You lose the tiebreaker to Georgia. You both finish five and three, they go to Atlanta, but you tie for the championship in the East. Only one loss all year in the East. Still haven't beaten anybody in the SEC West. No wins all year against ranked foes. All five losses by double digits. Eight and five record. Would he be safe? Would he be in trouble? He would be safe. I think he's safe too. I think if you tie for first in the East Division, and I think if you are able to get to eight uh, regular season wins, I think he's safe. Yeah, I think eight wins and that win at Florida. I think that would be what would make the at Jones Florida makes it yes. safe. Mike, your thoughts on yeah? That? My guess is Florida. Florida may be ranked by then. I don't know, but for argument's sake, I, I think beating Florida on the road would be a big step forward for Tennessee. And being I'm saying team. they're not ranked. That's the part of the scenario. Okay. No well, wins versus ranked folks. Beating Florida on the road is still something they haven't done yeah. in 11 or 12 years, and then beating the teams you're supposed to beat here, South Carolina, Vanderbilt, so safe. Okay. And I think the why safe the, the big thing you look at it too. There's not an ugly loss on here. I mean, okay, Georgia Tech, people are going to be mad because you don't think Georgia Tech. But you look at the teams that you'd lose to, Alabama, LSU, Georgia, Georgia Tech, talking about regular season. Yeah. I, I think that gives it a little bit different feel, too, than last year when it was South Carolina and Vanderbilt. Sterling, I know what you're going to say. Safe! Come on, <laughs> man, safe, man. We first tied the first in the East. Hey, we might even go to Atlanta. You never know what I was going to no, make No, this is no, the no, scenario. No, you didn't we live in by this the one, scenario. You don't get to go. Oh, I'm sorry. You <laughs> lose the tiebreaker in Georgia. <laughs> But at He's safe! Five, see, and, <laughs> and I wonder, because there are folks out there who think that 8-5 and five would not be safe. I think with John Curry, my guess is, don't know, but my guess is you get a first-year athletic director. I think he's going to err on the side of caution, barring a nightmare sure. scenario. It's my gut. So I think this would be safe as well. Here's safe. the part, and, and I don't know John Curry on this, this s situation. Most of the time when a coach gets fired, it's before the bowl. So I don't think that losing the bowl would mean, okay, we're going to fire him now. Okay. I think it's more based on eight and four. I do because I'm, I, I just can't name any coaches who got fired after because they lost the bowl. The bowl but, uh, okay, the then bowl. we can ignore the bowls in this No, I mean, you don't scenarios. have to, but I just, I just think that's one reason I think he's safe. The eight and four. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and everybody agrees with that. He's safe at eight five. All right. Safe. I think so. When we come back, these scenarios get a little tougher. Uh, and we have a little bit more fun with it. So come on back on the Sports Source. We'll get a little deeper into this thing.